Welcome back to Spiritfarer! Last time, we said goodbye to summer. As long as we don't have an autumn, a winter, or a spring, I think we'll be fine. But otherwise, I don't know what we're gonna do. We gotta get some stuff done. Prove a bunch of stuff. Gotta get the fried chicken. Might as well go see Nor go to Nordweiler. Find Mar Masha. Build that gallery. We're gonna be doing a lot of exploring. Hopefully we'll get the materials we need to advance. Shear the sheep. Let's see. Oh. That looks like something I'll need to. Ooh, what's this? Let's go check that out. Alright, sheep. First, I'll give you some corn. Here, wherever I want. But I can only keep one sheep. I mean, I don't think I'm in desperate need for the... rock from a friend. He said that if you stand next to it for like a week, you can become a seagull or something. Something. Mm -hmm. When the others aren't looking, I like to lick the rock. It helps me concentrate. 
Also, it's a little bit salty. I don't get it. I've been here for days. Everyone here says that they feel something. I don't feel anything. What gives? I shouldn't have quit my job. Oh, brother. some more nebula fiber and then we'll do some questing That's right, we were gonna get some fire glow. Concerned. I don't think I've done the fire glow thing yet. We need more fish. Maybe we'll get something new.
carbon fiber, wherever that is. Clear glass sheet. flow through you, Stella. The music strike straight to your heart. Okay, well, what do I do? What's supposed to happen? Um, oh, they're coming this way. Um, I don't understand. They're just flying away from me. Whoa! Whoa! Look at all this! I didn't get any of the red ones. Oh, I see! Seeds. Okay, but I still need some red ones. Any more? Will seeds. Do they go in the garden or do they go in the field? Guess we'll find out in a bit. Water. Water. Of course, in the meantime, 
not to... Didn't I give you food? Uh-huh. I gave you some this morning. Yeah, I fed you. What happened? But I gave you food this morning. Hellstein <laughs> mines. That didn't take long. Come on, go to bed. I know I fed you all. Anyway, I'm gonna go explore the mine. I know there's no penalty for staying up all night. If there is, feel free to tell me. Oh, wait one second there. You can't be here. The mine has been abandoned for 40 years. You can't just waltz in here. You don't have the proper credentials. But I love the attitude. I do see some potential in you as a future security recruit. You just need some training. I went to school for this job, you know. Hmm. I suppose if you went out and got said training, I could deputize you. That would work, actually. A break once in a while does sound nice. Hmm. Listen, go out there and train for this job. Double jump, fly, zip line, around. Okay, I got the first one. I need zip line. You need, you need to be able to do all that before I make you part of the team. Hmm. I'll see you around, future recruit. Okay, we'll get to figure out where to zip line. Tell them we're going to bed. worse than me. I never took pleasure in destroying other people's lives. On the contrary. Mm -hmm. Alright. I should be able to pull off a little bit of acting here. Let's see if I can fake it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Masha! Good to see you again, old hag. You've retreated much further than I thought. Mm -hmm. How are you doing these days? Mm -hmm. Well, well. If it isn't Astrid... You've never been this nice to me before. Did Olga send you? 
Should I assume you'd need a favor? If it's a scarf, sorry honey, but I've given the last one I knitted to a lovely chap up in the mountains. I still have some winter socks if you're interested. Mm -hmm. That's nice of you, but that won't be necessary. No, thank you. Snelly here welcomed me on her boat and made a wonderful house for me while we were cruising the oceans. Mm -hmm. All of my needs are met thanks to this wonderful young lady. Actually, it's information I'm after. Darling, have you heard anything about Giovanni? Mm -hmm. I know it's silly, but I'm still looking for my lazy husband. Olga said in a letter you had a lead on where to find him. Oh, I did actually. But Astrid, you know I'm not in the business of gossiping. Ooh. Olga, maybe. And I won't even talk about Irina. But me? Oh my, never. Ooh. Remember when I inadvertently mentioned to Sir Brogwood? How his wife had met with his cousin in the lower garden? Or when Mrs. Fredericks confided in me the secret of her foreign lover? You don't? Exactly! That's, that's because I've never told no one! <laughs> oh, Masha, darling, that's true. But what do you make of Sir Langdon's spat with his wife? All because someone blabbed about his mistress to Mrs. Langdon's maid. Mm -hmm. Oh, and what about that time when little Bobby accidentally discovered who killed his pet bird, Zachariah? Oh, oh. What do you think of the ruckus caused by the discreet revelation of Mrs. Gardner's secret stash of fine liquor? Mm -hmm. And I could go on and on and on, honey. Aye, but... That was different. Mm -hmm. Where is he, Masha? Oh, well, okay. He's in Lomberg. He hooked up with someone. I don't know the details. Mm -hmm. Wasn't so hard now, was it? Thanks a lot for helping me out, Masha. Your kindness is as gigantic as your forehead. Mm -hmm. You did the right thing, and I won't forget it. Who knows? You might even receive a crate or two of freshly threaded wool in a couple weeks. And Stella here might need your services. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you to it. See you soon, Masha. Damn, I hate her stupid face. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. Here. Have some pop. Mm -hmm. Light some aluminum. And some iron. You will take my cat. Hello. I'm sure you could find something. Yeah, I know. You eat fast. Oh, Astrid. She has never been nice, running her mouth like that. She's the mean one of the bunch. But enough about her. Thanks for bringing me here, Munchkin. So, Giovanni's in Lundberg. Mm -hmm. Well, he usually hates winter. Let's go find him, Munchkin. Oh. 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 I don't think I gave you a hug recently. Oh. couple of places, but you're usually just like standard, nothing major, but not making progress because we gotta go to Longberg. Yes. Oh, here we go. Oh. We can go. That place has chicken. But we're going to Lone Bird first. At least we can solve the chicken crisis. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. It's been hot the last few days. It's cooled off a little bit, at least. I was able to get some fire glow. It was kind of like the jellyfish thing, except there were a lot more of the little fireflies. stuff goes. exercises. looking for- Oh, okay. I'm Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Leone Formidaba- Formidadalbot. <laughs> I know. Sorry to break tea, though, but you're a bit young for me. What? Mm -hmm. Astrid, you say? She's with you on your lovely boat? Say no more. Mm -hmm. Here I come. That was easy. Anyway, what's this? Do. Do what you can to stay cool. He what? Mm -hmm. Just like that. No fuss. Really? You mm -hmm. must really. You must be really desperate. Let's go back. Alright, go 
first. I'm curious. But I can't get in right now, so... Let's go meet our new friend, and then go solve the chicken crisis. Well, don't just stand there. Welcome him aboard, Stella. Yeah, that seems to be a given. Mm -hmm. Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Astrid. Oh, Astrid. Mm -hmm. You look good. Mm -hmm. Always. And you look splendid too, princess. Mm -hmm. Astrid, I was looking for you. Everywhere I went, you were not there. Honey, my love is empty without you. Mm -hmm. The air tastes like dust. The ground feels wobbly. The stars are gone from the sky. Mm -hmm. No one is here to scratch my back. I even had to buy a back scratcher. You know, the wooden ones with a little plastic can on top. <laughs> Stop it, Giovanni. I haven't forgotten what you did. I will never forget. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but I'm willing to forgive you. Only if you promise to behave. Can you do that, Giovanni? <laughs> can I trust you on this? Or should I forget about you right here and now? Hmm. Yes. Oh yes, my princess. Have my back and I'll show you how trustworthy I can be. I will shower you with gifts and never take the slightest peep at other women ever again. Heavens, I'll even stop looking at other people. You have my word. Alright. Alright, Giov... Giov... Giovikins. But you're still on probation, mister. If I ever see you doing something fishy, I'll kill you. You hear me? <laughs> now come here. I have so much to tell you. Mm -hmm. Giovanni and I have a few things to settle. You don't need to babysit me for a while. I'm sure you've got better things to do than watch two ancient lovebirds reconnect. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. God, he's skinny. You are a lion! <laughs> I hope he eats lots of spaghetti! That was interesting. Anyway! Sleep, and then we'll head to the other town. One of them has to have the lining the not the lining, the zip line. I can see that. Ooh. I see the edge of the world. Um actually let's stop here and then we'll go into the other town. seeds. Oh, wait. You found 
find your first treasure map. You might find something interesting from it. Look inside and you'll find coordinates for some treasure. Okay. Don't worry, I'll get your chicken soon. Especially now that I know where it is. Fire glow is taking a long time to just grow. I need a hug. Marble is needed for the windmill. And we need the wood for the chicken food. spot on the map. What wonderful in, in it what wonderful initiative, Bambina. Seeing the world going places, meeting new faces. It's all so exhilarating. Before we go somewhere incredible though, could you do something for me? Let's just go somewhere else. Okay, I'll let you in on a little secret. I want to make someone really happy. Shh, don't say it loud. A secret I told you. And yes, you guessed right, a very special lady. I want to show her how much she matters to me. Ah, I knew you would be on board. Alright, we need to go to Bottom Line Corp to do some shopping. <laughs> I've heard the shop there just ha received a new batch of fancy chocolate boxes. And she just loves chocolate. The dark and expensive kind. <laughs> it's the perfect gift, don't you think? Wonderful, Bambina. Let's head there then. That's a shrine there. I see a shrine. chocolate kind. Oh, Stella, thank you so much for bringing me here. I will smell the crisp winter air and these colors. Why, I feel like a young girl again. Oh, let's go already. I can't wait to see all the sights. First, the autumn end. What's this gonna be for? Anyway, chicken! things are expensive and we don't have the room for it. Alright, sell some stuff. 
to a strange child. Don't talk to me again, please. Or if you do, do it discreetly. Anything in here? Ooh. Will I get anything different from this sheet? Nope. Is that an ancient wooden elevator cage? What a wonderful construction! I didn't think I'd ever see one of I <clears throat> I don't I didn't think I'd ever see one with my own eyes. Remember? It's by climbing one of these that Ansker managed to get away from Harold's gang. A treacherous and icy cage that claimed a many a young daredevil's life. But of course, Ansker managed to escape with the countess with the countess sapphires with ease and grace. Yes, he was quite the cat burglar. Oh, look at me, I'm swooning, just thinking about it. As for us, I think we, we should just climb the ladder. Watch for the ice patches. Around for treasure. Oh, there's something up there, but I can't reach. But I'm thinking this is where I get zip gliding. Oh, and this statue here, with the, brush, with the bushes ever white, just as I pictured it. How uncanny. Doesn't it remind you of the shrine where, where Asgard offered the sapphires to Agneta? I would have stolen a hundred gemstones and fought a thousand ruffians for the opportunity to gaze upon your beauty, but for a second. Oh, how romantic. And then she confessed her love. And then they... Well, you know what happened next. Although in my mind, it wasn't so cold outside. Well, Ansgar sure was hot-blooded. I know that's how he makes me feel. So not only did we solve the chicken crisis, but now we can hand- we can zip line. Just like the scaffolding, scaffoldings where Ansgard and Harold a duel. Oh, I can see the scene so clearly. The clicking of the swords, the distant barking of dogs, and the whistling of the policemen. Even the smoke reminds me of the train station below. And then, glinting in the shadows, a small needle-like knife. And just as Ansgard has, in, has adeptly disarmed his opponent, a treacherous Agneta appears and stabs Ansgar in the back. Of course, how could Ansgar know that she was the half-niece of the cruel Harold? The bleeding Ansgar... Ansgar ad advances haphazardly to the edge of the scaffolding. And as he reaches the edge, he glances back and finds that he is cornered by his opponents. With nowhere to go, they know his own it is a matter of time before they can deliver him to Duke Frederick. Ansgar's long-estranged twin brother, an usurper of the, fa the family title. But Ansgar, elegant to his last breath, raises a hand in farewell, smiles softly, and, just as he is engulfed by the smoke from the locomotive below... <laughs> Ouch! Oh! Stella, no, I'm all right, thank you. I'm good, I'm good. Just, I'm a little tired. Let's go back, let's get back home, okay? Just, let's go. Oh, that's fun! Oh, but I don't have a key to get into there. Apple pie. Oh no! I gotta get out of the 
water. Oh, wait up. I'm um, I'm tired. Would you would you mind helping an old lady back walk back to the tender? Good day, sir. You're talking to a sheep, ma'am. I have actually. I watched the four kids version because of course I have. See if he has the key. Okay, no, he doesn't. All right, back to the ship. some fun together with the trip and all. I can't keep following around like that. It's just too tiring. And besides, it's not been it's not the fitting of an old lady like me. Just has anybody told you how smothering you can be? Please leave me some space now, will you? Um Okay. I'm concerned. Interesting.
fucking low, bro. What? Still around. Watch me go. Chicken's still going. How long does it have? Oh my god! recently. I'm excited. Especially if they're going to be doing Splatfests in a... Oh. Especially now that Splatfests are now done with three teams instead of two. It's going to get rather creative now. Yes. upgrade or something. This is ridiculous. Lobster. Go back to the mine. Uh -huh. 
You might have noticed, but Alice, well, she seems to have trouble getting around, doesn't she? I don't think she can use ladders anymore. Um. I'm not sure she'd tell you, but I think she's stuck up there. Maybe you could move her house down to deck level? I'm sure that would help her. Good idea! Here, have coffee. Still don't know what your favorite food is. <laughs> but at the very least, I'm going to move her down. Where's her house? There. Yeah, that's it. Let's move it down here. No. I know. Move it here. And move this. Over here. There. How's that? Eugene, where are you? Oh, hello, it's you. Have you seen Eugene? He must be in the garage again. When you see him, can you ask him to bring me my old woolly? It's getting a bit chilly in here. Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> well, she's using ladders, but it's fine. Grilled chicken! Like some more. I don't know what this is. Two pork chops. Stock my tool. Not in here. Where'd he go? Oh, there they are. Good news! Fried chicken! I'm alright without that. What? Hold on. My own legs won't carry me anymore. Could you perhaps help me get to the prowl? Where is that again? other way. Let's 
check the recipe book. Grilled. But where's the fried chicken? Oh wait, here it is. I need... That? Where the hell am I gonna get that? does something. Uh, but for now... Where the hell is... Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay. We're still in the water. We're leaving you. Where you step, man. Okay, take me. Okay, that's different. I gotta go there to. Where was that bottom line place? Oh shoot. Where was bottom line? Um. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Let's see Olga first. Looks like she has something important to say. Alright, what do we get? Daganjong. I have to like wait until I get the crusher. What do I do to get the fat? That's so weird. Oh, the zip line. I need marble and wool thread. In wool, but. One more of those. Oh, luckily, they look 
fire glow is finished growing. And okay, so they share the house together. That's nice. But because Giovanni was hitting on people behind her back, he has to sleep outside. outfit. Well, good thing it's right here. Oh. Alright, to bottom line. need to get you a TV. But I should probably get some more iron first. was the way to bottom line. It is. Oh, that's wrong place. I'm an idiot. That was that should be it. That's what I get for not paying that close attention. over there any Omasha North Sea Pier A lot of places I need to go to. Oh, I thought they were 
we're done. Chocolate box you see, not the cheap stuff. Well, that's not too bad. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew I could count on you. You're terrific, Bambina. You know that? Marvelous, exceptional, admirable. We don't deserve you. Nope. No one does. Okay, let's pack up, guys. We don't deserve Stella. Um. Dude, what the hell? Thank you! Haha, <laughs> yes, she'll love it so much. I'll hold on to it. Let's head back to the boat, Bandy. Dude! Yeah, I noticed! It looks like it'll be a fun weapon. Please. a joke Actually, I think I was misreading it. I mis I misinterpreted probably. I forget I'm still Some. 
and blanket. I liked it. I liked very much. I must have misplaced it. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. My lonely. Yep. Come on, Grandma. We gotta go up here. The chocolate box is nearly not enough for a lady of this caliber, but I know exactly what comp would complement this gift. A nice bouquet of flowers, vibrant, luscious roses. I know just where to pick some. Amberton Park! And don't worry, I'll show you once we're there. It's a great idea, eh? Definitely a great idea. And again, not a word. She will be completely surprised. Is it? Oh, but it's probably. Yeah, we're not gonna be doing that in a, a long while. Let's just go get some fire. Actually, no. Let's go see Albert. for me. He was called Roberto. Get it? 
Okay, what can I get? Not bad. Yeah, not even good. Marble. I need to make more aluminum stuff. Need fire glow and another spirit flower. Take the book bus and go get some fire glow. Fire glow. like something that I'll need an upgrade for. Oh. I'm fine. We can make this their go-to spot for the night. that they just kind of repel themselves. Yeah. 
about it, I think the lighthouse is gonna be neat. I think it was a, no, it was either why am I thinking the lighthouse? It was a windmill. Never mind. I leave you! Oh, who are you? Who am I? Oh, I'm oh, sorry, I was distracted. I'm alright, I'm fine. Yes, yes, I'm fine, just carry on with your day. Your lost hat. Find a way to shake Alice out of her confusion. Have you seen Amy? She's my daughter. I think we got separated on our way here. She should. Oh! I see. We had to make use of. Where am I going? Alright, where are we? North Sea Pier. Oh! Good thing I got the zip line! First. Oh. 
Excuse me. Oh. Red hat. Beach out. Blue beach outfit. It was her birthday present from her dad, you know. It's... Oh, Annie, where are you? Clever way of, like, getting us to change. Where is the beach outfit? Thought she gave it. Oh! There we go. Annie, there you are. I was scared. I thought you had left. I'm feeling tired. We're on our way home, aren't we? Tell me when we're there. Bring Alice to... Oh! You know what? Wait. Annie's outfit with a red hat. We're gonna explore this island, and then we're gonna go back to the Everdor. I think it's time we see her off, too. Alice. <laughs> Poor Alice. Locked. You're, you've got a bat face. Larry Salzburg knows faces. And yours could be a po be on a poster, on a billboard. You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice, and I hate it. But we can fix that in the pat in the post. <laughs> we'll get one of the girls to dub everything. That'd be perfect. What? You are not an actress? You don't do vaudeville? You've never been with Siegfried? Nothing for those French shepherdesses for, or whatever it's called. That's impossible. You would have been perfect. But, if that's true, your pure, undiscovered talent. Mm -hmm. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It will be called something like Visions of Perfection. A thriller. Mm -hmm. Murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Mm -hmm. Something to make the town talk. Talking about my young new star. It will be a box office smash. Mm -hmm. Can't you see it? What a tragedy. He would have been perfect. Perfect, I say. Well then, if you do me a favor, this picture isn't going to cast itself. My casting director is on her honeymoon with, the, with her new woo. Somewhere warm, it doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture I just thought about in the last five minutes. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. This town is drier than my shirts on a clothesline in the summer. Let's see... Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy is off somewhere magical. We'll need to find someone with gr Gucci gr Ah. There's this veteran, Catherine, who would work. Apparently she's been taking in nature recently. Somewhere on obscure can- Obscure canopy, I believe. Wait one second. I just had another idea. We could also go to Demir Naive. Ah. I don't like you. Hmm. I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on the screen. I would say it's old age. I got an antique bus. Yeah, this is something I'll 
about to come back for work. Don't go too far. you that after the war I opened a tavern. Working in sales wasn't my thing, and Astrid's mother said she wanted to help us, so I told myself, hey, sure, why not? It was a reputable establishment, something fancy. Not a drinking hole where people would come to forget about their lousy lives. So one day, a client comes in, disabled, obviously distraught, looking over his shoulder as if the dogs of Inferno were after him. He runs to the bar, grabs me by the collar, and tells me in a panic, 12 shots of your finest liquor! Before I even have the time to come back with the bill, he's almost through half of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I ask him, Brother, what's going on with you? Why are you drinking so fast? To which he answers, If you had what I have, you would be drinking very fast too. Surprised and a bit scared, I flat out asked him, What in heavens do you have? Mm -hmm. He then stands up right away and tells me, Only 50 cents, and dashes through the door. Well, Peanut, it's been 40 years and I'm still laughing at this one. Hmm. Alright. Because we got her improvements in under her house right away, or just her requests were pretty simple. But yeah, this is very sad. She started out really perky, and then suddenly it's like we started to lose her. Only thing we can do is send her off. Wonderful. 
beautiful scenery. Did you find this place all by yourself, Annie? You'd gone exploring earlier, hadn't you? Always such an adventurer, you. I'm so proud of you. These trees are quite marvelous. Eugene will be so mad to have missed that. Perhaps he'll be able to take some time off next summer. Yes, let's return here. I feel I could stay here forever. You haven't told me about school recently. Is everything still going well? And your grades, are they... Oh, of course. You graduated a long time ago. I'm sorry. I don't know how I got this confused. forgetful recently. Oh. Maybe Eugene will... When you see your father, tell him about the trees, won't you? I'm sure he'll be excited to come with us next year. there for tonight. Need some time to process and hopefully find some time to update a few things. But otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care!